Yes, very good. So we studied, yes, we studied basic definition of set. What is set? Okay. What is set and what are the different type of set? Yes. Right, everyone? And what else? Yes, forms. Very good. We studied about set builder form and roster form. Two form of sets. Right, everyone? Okay. So we will continue that. Okay, we were discussing the different form of sets. We studied about null set, singleton set, finite set, infinite set, right? Right, right everyone? Then what is subset and superset? Okay, so we'll discuss more about subset and superset. Okay, everyone, right? Now, in last class, we studied briefly about subset and superset. Okay, so I can say that, I can say that subset is a set which comes under another set. Yes or no? Right? Yes. So I can say that. Now it's uploaded, I guess. I'll, I'll, I'll check. Okay, I'll check. It might not be uploaded. I'll check. Okay. Right? So. I said that, I said that a set A is said to be subset of set B if every element of A lies inside set B. Yes or no? Tell me. Yes or no? Right? So I can say that vowels are, vowels are subset of, right? English alphabets. Yes, English vowels are subset of English alphabets. Yes, very good, right? So it is represented by this. Okay. Right. It is slanted U. So A U B. So the open side is toward B and closed side is toward A, which means A is subset of B. Okay. A is subset of B. Right. Now if A is subset of B, then what is B of A? Tell me. If A is a subset of B, then what is B of A? Yes, very good, Pragna. It is superset. Okay, so B is a superset of A. Got it, everyone? Tell me. Got it? Okay, very good, right? So the condition, right? The condition for which any set is subset of another set is that all the elements of subset should be there in your superset. Okay. For example, you can say that, right? You can say that class 10 is a sec is a subset of school. Yes or no? Class 10 is a subset of school. Yes. Yes, very good. And section A of class 10 is subset of class 10. Right, everyone? Okay, so there are many examples like integers are subset of real numbers, natural numbers are subset of integers, right? Okay, right, everyone? Now, see this, we have a problem, we have a small problem. Okay, so we have a set, right? We have a set, right? The set is phi. Then A, B, and C. We have how many sets? We have four sets over here. What is phi? Tell me, everyone. What is phi? What is phi? It's your null set or empty set. Okay. Yes. Very good, Ananya. It's a null set or empty set. Now, tell me. You have to fill, right? You have to fill the direction either this side or this side okay depending on the subset and superset right now tell me phi is dash of b phi is subset or superset tell me this or this 
right? Or it doesn't matter that all the sets. Yes, very good. Phi is a subset of B because phi is a subset of anything. Okay. What about this A and B? A and B. Tell me, is A subset of B? Yes or no? No, na. See one five, right? One five nine, one three, one five nine. So three is not in B, right? So it's not a subset. Yes or no? It's not a subset. Okay. A and C. Yes or no? A and C. Yes. Very good. Yes, it is a subset. What about B and C? Yes. Very good. It is also a subset. Right, everyone. Got it, everyone. Okay. Now let's see. Question number ten. Not see the the thing is it is not necessary that there is relationship between A and B. Nothing. There nothing. There two different sets. As simple as that. Okay. A and B are two different sets. It's not that every set needs to be subset of something. Okay. Yes. Right. Okay. Got it. Question by eleven. So the question is right. Yes. Okay. Let's see. Right. So A is one. Right. B is one comma two. Right. Now in B we have a singleton set one then two. Got it. Right. Okay. And in C we have a singleton set one then two then three. Okay. Right. So obviously A belongs to B. Yes or no? A belongs to B. Right and B is also subset of C, but A is not a subset of C. Yes or no? Tell me, because the element of A is one. Think about this. The element of A is one, right? But the element of C is set A. Okay, it's not same. Okay, everyone, it's not same. For example, if you are saying this, how many elements do we have here? Tell me, how many elements do we have here? Zero, right? So this is yes. This is a set phi. But if you see like this, if you say like this, then tell me how many elements do we have here? Yes, exactly. Here we have one element, which is phi. Okay. So we got the difference now. Why this one is different from this one? Right, because it is a set, and this is just an element. Okay, okay, everyone. I hope you got got the concept. Right. So this, these are the examples that we have just seen. Okay. Right. Interval of subset. I have. I hope uh, everyone remember interval of subset, open interval, closed interval, excluded, included. We have studied that in inequality. Right, everyone. Yes, tell me that if the value is excluded, right? Then we use this small brackets, which is called as open interval, right? If it is included, which means equality sign, then we use square bracket, which is close bracket, right, everyone? Right? Okay. So see in number line, in number line, right? If the value Of that number is not included, then it is your open interval. If it is included, then it is your closed interval. Okay. Okay, everyone. Now next topic is something called powered set. Now, what is a powered set? Powered set is basically the number of, or it is the number of all the sets that is possible. Just think about it. This.
Guys, am I audible or my voice is low? Tell me, am I audible or my voice is low? No? Okay, wait. Shit. Okay, thanks for reminding, Pragna. I, I think, I don't know where, when it stopped recording. Okay. So, we studied that union set is mean, is mean the meaning of union set is addition of all the elements, right? Or inclusion of all the elements. Best word is inclusion of all the elements. Okay. Right, everyone? Okay. So, question 14. Everyone try question 14. Try question 14, easy. X is equal to Ram Gita Akbar. Be a set of students in class 11th who are in school hockey team. Y, Gita, the, the, David, Ashok, set of students from class 11th, right? So obviously set of X union B, yes, very good. Very good, everyone. Very good, Anya. It is Ram Gita Akbar, David and Ashok, okay? So you don't have to write Gita twice, that's the thing, okay? Because it is already included once. So see, this is what I said, yes or no? Tell me, yes or no, right? The meaning of union of A and B, okay? So some properties of union are, first, it is commutative. Commutative means A union B is equal to B union A. A union B can be written as B union A. Got it? Right? In the same way, it is associative. A union B union C is A union B union C. Right? Now, suppose, suppose we don't have anything. Right? Suppose B is your phi set. So, A union phi set is your A. Agree? Right? Right? And A union A is A only. And U union A, U is total universe. If you add in world, universe, right, then the set will be universe only. Okay? Got it? Okay. Next, intersection of set. So, intersection means common, as simple as that. Intersection means common. Okay? So, the elements which are common in two set is your intersection of set. For example, the the example that we saw earlier, right? I can say that in that example, Gita, right? Was common element, yes or no? Gita was common element. So Gita is intersection of A union B. So intersection means the common elements, okay? So let's see one example, right? Okay. Suppose we have this example, 17 one, 17 one. Set A is this, set B is this. Now tell me, what is A in section B? Answer is given, still think. It is this set elements which are common. So 3, 2, 5, 7. Common, right? Is in both? Yes, very good. So set C is 3, 2, 5, 7. Okay, everyone. Tell me, everyone. Got it? Now, see, in this set, in this is there anything common between set and set B? Is there anything common between set and set B? Right? So it is called as disjoint set. If there is nothing common between set and set B, it is called as disjoint set. Okay? If A intersection B is equal to phi, 
right? It is called as disjoint set. This joint, right? Disjoint set. Okay, everyone, got it? Okay. Now there is one more thing. There is a complement. Okay. Now suppose A is a set. This example. Forget about B. Suppose A is a set, right? So what do you mean by A complement? Tell me. What would do you mean by A complement? Tell me, everyone. A complement. A complement. A complement means everything except A. Yes or no? Complement means everything except A, right? So A complement should be universe minus A. Agree or not? Tell me, agree or not? A complement should be universe minus A. Right? B complement should be universe minus B. Agree? So what is a complement of a set? Complement of a set is all the element except the element in that set. Okay, everyone? Tell me, everyone got it? What is the meaning of complement? The 10 students were absent. I will see who are absent. So see this, let's see some properties. Okay, let's see the graph here. Venn diagram. So what is this diagram? This is B union C, yes or no? This diagram is B union C. Yes, even the set A is there, right? But this is B union C, agree? See this now, right? This, this shaded area, just see the shaded area. Okay, Dhruv, just see the shaded area, right? Shaded area is this element in set C and elements in set B, that's it. Okay, what about this? Think about it. Think about it. Okay. Guys, think about it and write it by yourself. Second one, C, union means both, right? It is common area. Yes, very good. It is A intersection B. A intersection B. Yes, very good. Second is A intersection B. What about third one? Sorry, sorry. Third one, A intersection B. Sorry, third one, A intersection B. What is second one? Second, we have three elements, no? Right? Second one, what is second one? Between C, forget about this, A and C, A intersection of C, is this area, agree? A intersection this area, and A intersection B, this area, union with A intersection B, but this this area there's there, there are many ways to write something okay right but this area is what it is a intersection so a intersection b intersection c yes or no this area This red area is A intersection B intersection C. Tell me. Right? So I can say that, I can say that it is A intersection C union with B A intersection B. Right? Now this, this is added twice. Yes or no? So minus this. Okay. Now it can be written in small way also. I'm just saying if any one of you could have written like this still it is same okay 
Now the answer is A intersection, A intersection with, right, B union C. How come B union C is this whole total? Think about it. B union C is this whole total, right? And A intersection with B union C will just give you this area. Yes, yes or no? Yes or no? This is the trick you have to see, right? Okay. Okay, everyone, got it? Okay, what about this one? Tell me, what is this one? What is this one? Everyone, think about it and tell me, what is this one? It's same, right? Okay, it's same. Sorry, it is same as the above one. Right? Just B and C is replaced. So what is this? Tell me, what is this? Everyone think and tell me. Tell me everyone, what is, there's a small difference, right? The difference is, right? See, B or C, even if it is replaced, right? It, even if it is replaced, it will be same. A intersection with B union C. Or, sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah, right? Or, or. You can write like this also, no? See, you can write, because this is commutative, you can write like this also. Got it? Right? Okay. Yes. C union B or B union C? It's same. And see, this is, again, what I have said, you can write like this also. Now, this is something wrong. Wait, this is something wrong. Right, it is A in section B union A in section C minus minus A in section B in section C. Okay, this is what I've told, right? Okay, because this is added twice. Yes or no? This is added twice. So this and this are same actually. Okay. So by Venn diagram, it is easily, yeah, it is easily understood that what is my relationship between sets A, B and C. Did you get it? Tell me, did you get it? The Venn diagram, how Venn diagram is studied? Okay, right? Now let's see, let's see some problems. Now, see this, what is this? This is set A minus set B. This is the Venn diagram of set A minus set B. Agree or not? Right? So suppose I'm having set A like this and set B like this. What is set A minus set B? Just remove the elements which are common, as simple as that. Set A minus B is 135. Okay? Right? Yes, very good. Very good, everyone. So A minus B is actually an what is the other way to write this? Can I say that A minus B is equal to A minus set A minus A intersection B? Is it same? Tell me, is it same? Yes or no? Yes? Okay, got it. Okay, everyone. So, see, this is what I said, right? And this is B minus A. 
which is b minus a intersection b okay now we are done with venn diagram i hope everyone understood venn diagram tell me is there anyone who didn't get venn diagram everyone understood venn diagram clear okay so it's the time for kahoot okay so i hope all of you can solve these problems these are easy problems it will take hardly one one hour for one okay let's complete this complement of set tell me i hope all of you understood complement of set also right i have taught this what's the complement of set it is the elements except that set okay means universal set minus that for example for example if this is a universal set just think about it if this is your universal set and this is set a then what is a complement tell me what is a complement it is everything except this yes or no right remove this a from this universal set okay got it as simple as that right okay now let's see let's see the venn diagram let's see the venn diagram everyone let's see the venn diagram now see this this is set a and this is set b right so just think about this what is a union b right i'll just use a green color a union b is this yes or no tell me yes or no yes what is a union b complement what is a union b complement a union b complement is whole area except this so a union b complement is actually this agree now can it be written as can be written as just think about this what is a complement a complement means i use this uh this one a complement is this blue shaded area a complement is blue shaded area yes or no a complement a complement right and b complement b complement is your this purple shaded area there are lots of shades right sorry there are lots of shades wait i'll just delete i don't know whenever i choose areas of my laptop hangs okay now don't you think don't you think if you talk about a a intersection b intersection it is the common area it is the common area tell me the common of this brown one and this purple one yes so what sign we have to use for common this intersection so can i say that a union b ka whole complement is a complement intersection with b complement this is one rule okay got it we can just prove this using venn diagram okay got it tell me yes or no tell me everyone this is one more relation that we have to think of 
Okay, so this is one you have to remember. You can just use Venn diagram to understand that. Okay. So I can say that I can say that A union B complement is A complement intersection of B complement. Okay. Okay, everyone. Right. So let's see question number twenty-two. Everyone, let's prove question number twenty-two. Prove question number twenty-two. So see this. What is A union B? Tell me. What is A union B? It is two, four, five, right? Two, four, five. A union B. What is A union B complement? A union B complement is everything except two, four, five. Except two, four, five. So which is A union B complement is equal to one comma three comma six. Yes or no? Tell me. Yes or no? Agree? Right? And what is what is a complement? A complement? A complement is from universe. Remove two and three. It is a complement is one comma four comma five comma six. What is b complement? B complement is remove everything. Right, so it is one comma. Okay, three is also removed. Sorry, this is we don't have three over here. So it is one comma six, right? So what is common between B and C? One comma two comma six. So what is common between A A A complement and B complement? Wait. A union B is equal to two, three, four, five. Okay. A union B complement. I wrote it was complement. Complement was everything except this, right? It was complement which I wrote, which is one comma six, as simple as that, right? In same way, A complement is everything except two, three, one comma, four comma, five comma, six, and B complement is everything except B from universe, right? One comma, two comma, six. Now, if we talk about A union B complement, one comma six, it is nothing but the common part of A and B. So A intersection with B. Complement is equal to one comma six. Got it? Which is equal to A union B complement. Okay, everyone, got this? Tell me. Take your time. It might be confusing. Okay, but once you solve it, it will be easy. Okay. Okay, everyone. So that's it. We will end the class today here because I'm having another class. I hope everyone got this. So this Sunday we might have class. We might we will have a class this Sunday. I'll inform you. Okay, because we missed class on uh, Tuesday, I guess. Okay. Okay, everyone. I hope you understood, right? So we are done with the Venn diagram portion. We will solve more problems, but we are done with, right? Venn diagram portion. Okay. Two more classes. We won't have time for Kahoot Snig though. Okay, because I'm having another class, and I have to prepare for that also. I have to have my lunch also. Okay.